Mm. I want to do something different. I don't want to be the second Mark Spitz. I want to be the first Michael Phelps. My most recent downfall in 2014, I just decided that the world is going to show, like, I'm going to show the world who Michael Phelps is. Um, when I was 11 years old, I started swimming with my coach who I swam with my whole career named Bob Bowman. And, and at 11, he sat down and was like, you could make the Olympic team. And I was wow. like, cool. That would be awesome. Why not? And I was like, okay, let's do it. I want to be a world record holder. I want to be an Olympic gold medalist. I want to be a professional athlete. That's what I want. Um, and four years later, my coach took me there. I, I don't know what made me trust him right then and there. Um, I actually, like, it's fun for me now because so many more stories come up through yeah. this process. And, and if I look back to that moment when I trusted him at 11, I, I think it was almost really, I was looking for somebody who had confidence in me. We go to Colorado. We, we would go to Colorado Springs to the uh, United States Olympic Training Center, and we would train up there for three weeks. And we would spend um, basically all we did was eat, sleep, swim, and lift. That's all I did. And we would go from five to seven, nine to eleven, and three to five, all in the pool, and then have a weight session afterwards. So we're having four workouts a day. So incredible. over 24 days, we're probably working out with weights 75 times, probably 75 workouts in 24 days. So at that point, it was kind of like I was, I saw myself improving so much because we weren't taking a day off. And, and in the sport of swimming, if you miss one day, it takes you two days to get back to where you were. After going to my first Olympics in 2000, when I was 15, um, I, I, I decided to not take a break afterwards and kind of get right back into it because I was upset with my performance. You know, I got fifth and 15, yeah, it's great, but I mean, let's be honest, I don't want to come back with a fucking participation like ribbon. Like, I want to come back with real hardware. Like, I don't want this bullshit <laughs> ribbon. Like, I, I, that's, that's just what I wanted. So I was like, all right, cool. So we got back in the water the next day. Everyone else took like a month or two off. And the, I remember the very first workout we did as the meet's going on. Bob has WR written on the top of the workout. And I'm like, what, what is this? Like, I know what it means, but like, why are you writing it here? And he's like, because we're going to break a world record in six months. Uh, he removed the word can't from my vocabulary. That's awesome. Um, and and I would How? always say it. He just wouldn't let you say it? Yeah, he, just, he, he, he basically said it. He's like, if you can't do something, if you're saying you can't do something, he's like, why are you here? Like, why are you wasting your time? Do something else. Because you've already made the decision up in your mind that you can't do it. So, you know, for me, like, that was something that, you know, kind of helped me to believe that I could do things that other people had never dreamt of or were too afraid to dream of. And, and um, you know, I think it, it's definitely helpful to me as well today with things that I'm trying to do after I'm done swimming. And, and I was like, all right. Decide. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. I'm in. Six months later, first world record. Six months after that, broke another one, won my first world championship. And he just started proving to me that he could get me to these certain places. And we just started pressing the envelope even more. We're like, all right, what do we want to do next? How big can we really take this? And, and um, you know, I, I remember sitting with my agent when I was 15, 16 years old, and I just said, I want to do something that nobody else has ever done in the sport. I want to do something different. I don't want to be the second Mark Spitz. I want to be the first Michael Phelps. I want to do something ah, nobody awesome. else has ever done. That's awesome.